So if I were to think of who is the worst person who the Republicans could possibly pick to head the House Foreign Affairs Committee, I would think Brian Mast. Well, guess who they picked? Brian Mast. Brian Mast is a U.S. veteran who lost his legs in Afghanistan. And instead of that giving him a sensitivity to how awful war is and how we should do everything to stop the killing, he is such a great supporter of Israel. In fact, so much so that he went to volunteer with the Israeli Defense Forces and even wore an Israeli military uniform to the U.S. Congress. But what I really, really can't stand about Brian Mast is the way he talks about Palestinian civilians. He has absolutely no compassion for these civilians. I would encourage the other side to not so lightly throw around the idea of innocent Palestinian civilians. I don't think we would so lightly throw around the term innocent Nazi civilians. We had an interaction with him in the hall one day. We've had a couple of them. And he said, it would be better if you kill all the terrorists and kill everyone who are their supporters. I think the Israelis should go in there and kick the shit out of them. Just absolutely destroy them, their infrastructure, level anything that they touch. Clear enough? Congressman, the world is calling for a ceasefire. You used to say Anybody Hamas won't, won't agree to a ceasefire. Hamas had just agreed. Unrise keeping it in box. I do want to make sure that we don't give one dollar, one penny to UNRWA and that it actually be totally Why? abolished. You haven't seen the pictures of all the babies being killed? These are not innocent Palestinian the civilians across the world. When you're looking at the half a million people starving to death are people that should go out there and put a government in place that doesn't go out there and attack Israel on a daily basis. Kids? So. Is it kids or some year olds? Seven year olds? Nine year olds? They've destroyed more infrastructure in Gaza than they did in Dresden. So that is like the And there's bombing. more infrastructure they, that they needs to be destroyed. They've destroyed more of Gaza than what happened in Dresden. There's more that needs to be destroyed. He has repeatedly conflated the issue of Palestinians with Hamas fighters. And that sends a message that it's okay to do violence against all Palestinians. It also sends a message that has incited anti-Palestinian hate here in the United States, like the killing of six-year-old Wadia Al-Fayyum, a Palestinian-American who was stabbed to death simply for being Palestinian-American. I want to read to you what Representative Sarah Jacobs said about him when she introduced a measure to censor Congressman Mast. Ryan Mast's comments regarding innocent Palestinian civilians in Gaza are dehumanizing, inflammatory, unacceptable, and can be reasonably construed as inviting the targeted murder of innocent Palestinians, fanning the flames of violence in the Middle East and violating the international rules of law. What more could you ask for as a new head of the Foreign Affairs Committee? Shame.